With recent snow in the upper Midwest, it's time to think about hibernation with books. It's the perfect time of year to discuss December mystery releases from Penguins, Berkeley Prime Crime, and Obsidian. Let's start the book chat with a colorful book. Here Today, Gone to Mali is the first in a new series by Rebecca Adler. Former news reporter Josie Callahan is making a new start by working in her aunt and uncle's Tex-Mex restaurant when a local jewelry designer is found dead after a tamale-making party. Josie's reporter instincts kick in, and she's trying to solve the hot case. The new haunted home renovation mystery by Juliet Blackwell is Give Up the Ghost. A San Francisco millionaire consults a psychic as to how to get rid of the ghost in the Victorian mansion he wants to sell. Contractor Mel Turner is hired to replace original features of the house. But then, the psychic is murdered, and Mel must use her other skill, talking with ghosts, to catch a killer. Leslie Budowitz, Agatha Award-winning author of A Salt and Pepper, returns with the second spice shop mystery. In Gildy as Cinnamon, Pepper's Spice Shop is ready for tourists at Seattle's Pike Place Market. But when a young chef dies due to the dangerously hot ghost chili, Piper Reese is stuck in the middle of a police investigation. Now, Pepper's using all her senses to put the heat on a killer. In Amanda Carmack's Murder at Whitehall, amateur sleuth Kate Haywood is caught up in court intrigue and scandal in Tudor, England. Queen Elizabeth's holiday festivities are disrupted, first by extortion demands and then by the murder of a visiting Spanish nobleman. Now Kate is caught between a blackmailer and a killer. Pouncing on Murder is the latest bookmobile cat mystery by Laurie Cass. Librarian Minnie Hamilton loves maple syrup season, until her favorite syrup provider, Henry Gill, is found dead after a sugaring accident. But Henry's old friend is convinced the death wasn't an accident. So Minnie and her, new cat, and her rescue cat, Eddie, tap their resources to investigate. It's been a few months since Jinx showed up for this. So here he is pouncing on the table in order to participate in the book chat. Laura Child's Scorched Eggs is now in paperback. When a friend dies in a tragic fire, the three owners of the Cackleberry Club vow to smoke out the culprit. It's a little bittersweet to see J.J. Cook's new Biscuit Bowl food truck mystery after the recent death of co-author Joyce Levine. However, let's talk about Fat Tuesday Fricassee. It's Mardi Gras in Mobile, Alabama, where food truck chef Zoe Chase is driven to distraction between attending high society soirees, feeding the partying masses, and getting the skinny on a Fat Tuesday murder. My blog followers know I'm fond of paranormal mysteries featuring am amateur sleuths who see ghosts. Ghost in the Wind is the new haunted guest house mystery by E.J. Copperman. Guest house owner and reluctant ghost whisperer Allison Kirby is speechless when the ghost of 1960s music idol Vance McTurnan shows up looking for help from Allison and her resident ghostly gumshoe Paul. McTurnan is convinced his daughter was murdered. After the body of the alleged killer is found, Allison and Paul must act quickly before someone else finds a stairway to heaven. This month's hardcover is Cleo Coyle's Coffee House Mystery, Dead to the Last Drop. When the White House asks Coffee House Manager and Master Roaster Claire Kosai to consult on the coffee service for a Rose Garden wedding, she finds herself embroiled in simmering secrets. With deadly twists involving the State Department and the President's daughter, Claire soon learns that Washington can be murder. Krista Davis's Paws and Claws Mysteries are charming treats for pet lovers. Now, in Murder Most Howl, Holly Miller is left in charge at the Sugar Maple Inn while her grandma goes on vacation. When a storm blows into town, it brings trouble with it. 
Holly's Jack Russell finds a body, and Holly and her favorite pets are caught up in murder. Laura Del Severio takes the book, her book club into dangerous territory in The Rita Holics and The Poirot Puzzle. Amy Faye Johnson's book club is reading Murder on the Orient Express with heated debates over Poirot's of decision. But when Amy Faye's brother becomes a murder suspect, the Rita Holics take a page from Poirot and investigate to keep Derek from being railroaded. In a seasonal mystery, Christine Hewson brings us The Iced Princess, the latest snow globe shop mystery. To handle the Christmas rush, Cameron hires a former high school classmate, Molly Dalton. Molly seems a little off at first, but the real problem arises when Molly is found dead at the back of the shop after drinking poisoned coffee. It's a death that Cameron takes personally. Anne Purser's new Lois Mead mystery is Suspicion at Seven. Lois Mead has done enough buffing and polishing over the years with her cleaning business, New Brooms, to know that all that glitters is not gold. So when a bag of costume jewelry is the main clue in a murder, she suspects that appearances may be deceiving. We're opening and closing with new series. Here's Joyce Tremel's Brewing Trouble Mystery, To Brew or Not to Brew. Brewery owner Maxine Max O'Hara is preparing to open her own pub in Pittsburgh when suspicious acts of sabotage culminate with the strangulation death of her assistant brewmaster and chef. Max teams up with her homicide detective dad to find a killer before her new business tanks. So settle in with December Mysteries featuring ghosts and pets, coffee and brew. Comfort Mystery Reads. Enjoy!